Hello everybody! In this video I'll tell you about the 10 functions on VLC player that you never knew before, but which will be useful for anyone. VLC might be the most popular open source media player – easy, convenient and powerful. However, it's got so many functions that we don't use because we just we don't know about them. They include converting video files, taking snapshots, placing watermarks, desktop recording and many others. You will find the download link to the official website of this free player in the description. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Let's begin with video file converting. Using VLC Media Player you can change video format or convert a file with the player's integrated codecs. To do it, go to Media. Convert, Save, click Add and choose the video to convert. Click on Convert, Save. In the following window you can choose a set converting profile as a combination of a codec and file format, or even a target resource, such as iPod, YouTube or Android. You can also change the selected profile by clicking a certain button and set up one of the available video formats and an audio codec. Choose the name and folder where to save the target file. And click Start. The converting process starts and you can see its status in the player's bar below. Here is the converted file. In our channel you can also find a video about converting audio or video files with Movava Converter. You will find the link in the description. The second function is playing or downloading online videos. We already got used to watching online videos in a browser. But what if it's not too comfortable to watch it online because the video is lagging in the browser or if you need to save the video to your computer, for example from YouTube? By the way, you can visit our channel to watch a video about solving the lagging problem in your internet browser. I will give the link in the description. To watch videos online in VLC Media Player, choose Media, Open Network Stream, insert the video link here and click Play. The online video will start playing. To save it, click on the arrow of the play button and choose Convert. Choose the name and folder where to save the target file. Click Start and the video will be downloaded to the chosen folder. With VLC you can record the video that's playing and take a screenshot. To do it, play the video, select View. Advanced controls. As a result, additional buttons will appear, including the one called Record. After the file stops playing or you click the Stop button, the recorded file will be saved to the video folder. It will have the name VLC Record, date and time when it was created. The resolution will be the same as in the source file. One of the advanced controls elements is the Take a snapshot button. Just click on it at any moment when the video is playing and the frame will be saved to the pictures folder. The first function is recording the desktop screen. To record everything that's going on in your desktop with VLC Media Player, go to Media, Convert, Save, go to the tab Capture Device and select Desktop in the Capture Mode menu. Set the capture frame rate you'd like to have, for example 30 or 60 frames per second. And click Convert – Save. Specify the name and folder where to save the target file. If you want, you can change the, rec the recording options as well. When you click the Start button, everything that's happening in your desktop will be recorded. 
The process will stop and the data will be saved to the file you have chosen after you click Stop in the player's interface. This function also lets you record videos from a web camera. To do it, in the Convert Save menu set Direct Show as the capture device. Select your web camera as a video device and the microphone as an audio device. Here is the fifth function. VLC can help you to convert a DVD, Blu-ray or audio CD into a digital format. In other words, to rip it. To do it, insert into the DVD drive the disk you want to convert. Go to Media, Convert, Save. Go to the Disk tab. Select the format of the converted disk and specify the disk letter. After that, click Convert, Save and choose the codec and format for the files you are saving. The menu also features audio profiles such as MP3, FLAC and CD. Click Start. By the way, you can visit our channel and watch a video about recording a CD, DVD as well as an audio CD or vice versa or copying their contents to your computer. Follow the link in the description. To put a watermark on your video, go to the Tools, Effects and Filters, Video Effects, Overlay. Enable the Add Logo option. Set its transparency as well as top and left margins. Remember that the logo shouldn't be too large, otherwise it will cover the entire screen. The optimal size is up to 100 by 100 pixels. It was the sixth function. Now let's move to number seven. With VLC Media Player, you can put a bookmark somewhere in a video file to go back to or to continue watching it from a marked position at any convenient time. To put a bookmark, play a video file and go to the menu Playback – Custom Bookmarks – Manage. The Edit Bookmark window will open. Click on Create in the position where you want to set a bookmark and the bookmark will be ready. To set the video playing from the bookmark, play the video file and go to the menu Playback – Custom Bookmarks and click on the bookmark where you want to switch to. The eighth useful function in VLC Media Player is adding subtitles to the video that's playing. To add subtitles to video, play it with VLC Media Player. Right-click in the Player window and select Subtitle – Add Subtitle File. Select the subtitle file. The player supports subtitles in the SRT format. Open it. If you need subtitles to start automatically together with the video, put the subtitle file into the same folder where the video file is. Give it the same name as the video file. Function 9. To change the scale of the window where the video is playing, press Z. To switch to full screen mode, press F. To go back to the original size, press F again. Finally, a very cool function – playing IPTV. There are two ways to watch IPTV with VLC Media Player – using a TV channel list file with the extension M3U or starting the player with the playlist address. First of all, you should download the playlist of channels from the official resource of your Internet provider. To open a playlist in VLC Media Player, which is already running, click on Media – Open File. All other steps are the same as for opening any multimedia file. In your computer, find a file with the name playlist.m3u. Click on it and select Open. In several seconds, you should see the picture of a TV channel in your player. To open a list of channels in the playlist, click on the Playlist On – Off button. Double-click on the channel to watch it. The playlist address as well as the playlist itself are provided by your Internet provider. To add a playlist URL address, open Media – Open Network Stream. 
Then type in the playlist address or copy it from your provider's website. Wait a little and the picture of one of the channels will appear in the screen. With VLC Media Player you can watch anything on your computer. It can load several playlists and make a list of them. And it applies to URL as well. You can configure stereo or ambisonic sound, change the aspect ratio, use the teletext or record TV programs, take screenshots and these are only a few of its functions. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Don't miss other useful videos. Thank you for watching and good luck!